my brain is still in recovery mode from taking in so many high level important ideas. So at this point, I've pretty much said everything that I feel like I wanted to say and needed to say about the Steven Crowder slash Carlos Maza YouTube situation. But now I want to talk about a different aspect of this story, and that is Dave Rubin, otherwise known as Rave Dubin, who did exactly what everyone expected him to do. He went on Steven Crowder's show to be the token gay guy to tell Steven Crowder that everything he's doing, everything he did to Carlos Maza, harassing him for two years, that's totally acceptable. And we knew that Dave Rubin was going to do this um, because that's what he does. He goes on Fox News, he goes on Tucker Carlson, for example, and he tells Tucker, look, I'm a gay married guy. It's perfectly acceptable if a business owner wants to discriminate against an LGBTQ couple because that's just freedom. I am gay and married. I do not believe that a baker or a florist or any business person ought to be forced to bake a cake for a gay wedding because if the government can force a company to do something for one set of ideals, they can do it for any. I'm for gay marriage. I even married a guy. I'm, I'm right. for legalizing marijuana. I'm pro-choice. I'm for reforming the prison system. And the list goes on and on. As for that specific line, I personally wouldn't want the government telling a private business what to do. Dum, 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 dum. So he's always the token and he's happy to be the token gay guy. But what he said was even surprising to me in this discussion that he had with Steven Crowder because his justification here and reasoning as to why Crowder should be able to say all of these homophobic slurs and jokes with no consequence it's it's honestly laughable. I was shocked at how profoundly dumb Dave Rubin's reasoning was, and I expected him to say something incredibly unintelligent and, quite frankly, just idiotic. But he even surprised me. It, it's worse than I thought. So here's a little bit of Dave Rubin explaining why it's perfectly acceptable for, for Steven Crowder to um, pretty much harass a gay person like Carlos Mazo. Look, you, I have no problem with gay jokes. I mean, the idea that you can't make fun of a certain group of people, um, it doesn't mean about destroying one particular person over their identity. But if, imagine if you say, okay, well, we can't make gay jokes anymore. Now, first off, gay people are equal in America. No one's coming for you because you're gay. So if there were rights that gay people Except did for other not, gay guys, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, exactly. But that's a joke. See what you did there? See? Incredible. See? Ah. Tell me where that's hateful. Yeah, go ahead. But the point is that you make those jokes actually because you know gay people are equal. So it, the point would be if gay people didn't have certain rights and then you were constantly going after gay people, personally, I would have more of an issue with that. I would defend you as a comedian and I would always defend your right to free speech, obviously. Sure. But the point is, if you're going to come after jokes, let, just watch where this goes. OK, guys, Vox, you want to take down Crowder for gay jokes? You got 20 years of gay jokes on Family Guy. Every freaking joke about Stewie, the baby, is about him being gay, and the and and every gay character that they've put in that show. And sure. The Simpsons have done it with Waylon Smithers. And you could do every sitcom, every Friends, every other joke. You'd, ha you'd have to get rid of RuPaul's Drag Race. So I'm not going to change my opinions, and I'm not going to stop making gay jokes, black jokes, half Asian jokes, quarter black jokes, Canadian jokes. They're never going to stop. We need jokes. We need jokes. You know what happens to a society that can't joke? Violence. I mean, that's what happens. You start killing each other. Dave. <laughs> I hope that the paycheck you're getting from the Koch brothers learn liberty and prager you i hope that it's big enough to where it's a nice distraction because i don't know how you sleep at night saying things that stupid that last line there nearly broke my brain quote we need jokes you know what happens to a society that can't joke violence Alrighty then so if Steven Crowder weren't allowed to tell his jokes, if you consider just calling a gay person a lispy queer, calling someone a slur a joke, he says that that could lead to violence. So we have to let Steven Crowder call Carlos Maza a lispy queer and make fun of his sexual orientation and him being effeminate and his mannerisms, because if not, then I mean, come on, we're creating a society where violence is inevitable. Well, here's an example of one of Stephen Crowder's quote-unquote 
jokes. Of China. Yikes. But you see, guys, we have to let Steven Crowder do that and never criticize him. Let him do that without consequence, because if not, then society will devolve into um, a violent authoritarian society. That's your argument, Dave? I mean, you could have made any argument. You could have made any argument. And that's your argument? Really? And see, here's the thing about hiding behind this facade of being a comedian. It's not comedy if the joke is someone's identity. And that's usually what these types of right-wing comics do. They'll just make fun of the fact that transgender people exist. Or in the case of Steven Crowder, he will do stereotypical Asian jokes that we saw back in like the 1930s cartoons. But he's doing that now. And, you know, it's okay though because he's a comedian. Now, are gay jokes permissible? Sure. If you're a comedian, then I think that you can shed light on things in a really unique way. But the thing about comedy is that if you're punching up, that's funny. But if you're punching down, if you're just being a dick to marginalized and vulnerable communities, that's not comedy. That's just you being a bully. But it's not even that Steven Crowder was just saying, hey guys, want to know a joke? Gay people. He was going out of his way to be hurtful. Where's the comedy in that? Where's the comedy in that? I don't get it. Now, some other things that um, Dave Rubin said that are just completely bizarre. He said, it's okay for Steven Crowder to do these brazenly homophobic jokes because gay people are equal in America. Nobody's coming for you because you're gay. You make those jokes actually because you know gay people are equal. He says this to Steven Crowder. Except... That's not actually true. And Dave Rubin lives in California, so it may feel like you're equal, Dave, but you wouldn't feel very equal if you were living in Alabama. To say that gay people are equal is absurd because gay people very much are not equal both legally and socially. LGBTQ employees can be fired in 26 states on the basis of sexual orientation or gender identity. In fact, in 30 states, LGBTQ Americans aren't fully protected from discrimination. And according to Gallup, 26% of Americans think that same-sex relationships should be illegal. Illegal altogether. They think you should ban homosexuality. And 36% thinks that same-sex marriages should be invalid. That's a huge portion of the population. And LGB youth, compared to their heterosexual peers, are three times as likely to contemplate suicide and five times as likely to attempt it. But according to Dave, it's okay because they're equal now. If gays weren't equal, then joking about them might be a little bit problematic. And he alludes to that viewpoint um, a little bit later. But let's just kind of dwell on this for a little bit. Gay people are equal, so it's okay to joke about them. I don't even know what to say about that. And again, I'm not saying that jokes about gay people are off limits. But context and intent are incredibly crucial here. It matters. If you're just making fun of gay people because you think that they act effeminate. If you're making fun of gay people or a particular gay person because you think he's a lispy queer. That isn't a joke. That's not comedy. You don't get to hide behind comedy to escape criticism. That's preposterous. But here's the thing, because gay people are apparently equal, according to Dave Rubin, who lives in California, then it's okay. But here's what he says here. Here's the caveat. If gay people didn't have certain rights, and then you were constantly going after gay people, personally, I would have more of an issue with that. So that's more reasonable. Now, maybe Dave Rubin just doesn't know that gay people aren't equal yet. Because again, he lives in a state where legally gay people have full rights. Now, socially, there's still some issues in California. But what he's not realizing is that there are disparities in different states. If you live in Alabama, 
you're not going to be as equal as a gay American living in California or Oregon or Washington. He completely dismisses that and says gays are equal. But let me remind you that, he, again, he went on Tucker Carlson's show and said it's perfectly acceptable for a business owner to invoke a religious defense in order to discriminate against LGBTQ couples. So if you are a cake baker and you offer wedding cakes to heterosexual couples, according to Dave Rubin, it's perfectly reasonable to discriminate against an LGBTQ couple. You can deny service to a certain type of couple. I mean, do you not agree with the Civil Rights Act, Dave? I mean, this is, I can't believe that I have to make this argument to a gay person. He should know this, but I think he does know this. I think he's well aware that gay people are not fully equal. I think he's just playing dumb because he wants a paycheck, right? Now, again, getting to his point, if gay people didn't have certain rights, then he personally would have ish would take issue with uh, Steven Crowder going after them. Okay, well, what's another group within the LGBTQ community that Steven Crowder often goes after? Trans people. He literally dresses up in drag and claims that he is parodying trans people by doing that. And they're absolutely not equal. He's making fun of them while they're still very unequal. I mean, think about this, Dave. Trump's transgender military ban just went into effect. 2018 was the worst year for violence against transgender women, and trans women of color were particularly vulnerable. Trump wants to allow doctors to be able to discriminate against patients on the basis of gender identity. Most trans people cannot afford life-saving medical procedures that they need because insurance companies don't often cover them. So they have to resort to GoFundMe and try to take out whatever savings they possibly can. And only 19 states offer protections for transgender people when it comes to healthcare. And Steven Crowder is relentless in going after trans people. So by Dave Rubin's own standard here, this should be a problem. He should be confronting Steven Crowder. But of course, he's not going to do that. Because Dave Rubin is a hack. If gay people didn't have certain rights and then you were constantly going after gay people, personally, I would have more of an issue with that. It would be awesome if you came on and played Spot the Tranny with not, with not gay Jared. Sure, I'll play Spot the Tranny as long as they don't get called men. <laughs> what if they are men? This is why people don't take you seriously, Dave. This is why people joke about you. Because, you see... If you're going to grift, you have to make it believable. You have to make it seem as if you believe the bullshit that you're saying. Like, you need to make it seem like you genuinely believe the words that are coming out of your mouth. But you, we know that you're lying. We know that you're lying. We know that you are playing dumb because that's what behooves you to play dumb. If you start speaking truth to these right-wing hacks that you always talk to, then maybe, you know, Learn Liberty won't want to partner with the Rubin Report. Maybe you stop getting invited to go on these tours with Jordan Peterson, who is basically the Anita Bryant of our time when it comes to trans people. It's more about the money to Dave than anything. So whenever you hear him talk about this issue, you know, him being gay, so I'm going to give you permission to basically make fun of gay people on the basis of their identity... No, you don't get to do that. You don't get to speak on behalf of gay people, and you don't speak on behalf of gay people. You've sold out, so nothing you say is legitimate to anyone, and you absolutely do not represent the LGBTQ community. And it's a shame. You're essentially allowing these right-wing goons like Steven Crowder to be openly homophobic, and you're giving them permission to be homophobic, even if you know that it's detrimental to the mental health of LGBTQ youth, even if you know that he often makes fun of trans people in a way that makes them hate themselves and hate who they are. Shame on you, Dave, because you are a disgusting, pathetic hack, and you are the quintessential sellout. You are the example people should go to when trying to see what a sellout looks like in modern American politics. I hope you can sleep at night.